Hello and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Saturday's here with Bruno Bird. We're, I think, getting ready to wind down Bruno and uh, re-up uh, another series with a slightly less capable character and be able to move them on into the kind of state that Bruno kind of started at. Uh, combat proficient and um, as well as that Bruno has become quite the quite the, the maker and scientist uh, decent with computers you know mechanics of seven is, is pretty darn good fabrication seven applied science seven those are those are quite high vehicles of seven but we'll get that anyways uh, of course his m melee is six bashing and cutting at five piercing at five so He's, he's rather capable, not to mention, of course, he started with a bunch of bionics. And um, we, have, we have mutated him as well to be a fast healer, need less sleep, gain night vision. And uh, I think one thing I'm going to do here before... I don't, I'm not really sure. I'd like to go around and try and find a, a Transcoast Logistics. But um, let me first look at Burr Arm firearm I still want to make the firearm repair kit we need an extra metalworking chisel and a pipe cleaner what's it take to make a metalworking chisel uh, it takes an anvil and forge uh, which we need a pair of flat jaw tongs for flat jaw tongs requires an anvil okay how about an anvil? Crude anvil. 90 chunks of bronze. Oh no, that's bronze. Hard to, hold on. Half meter length of railroad track? How the hell do I get that? Oh my lord. Rail wheel. Small railroad track? Is that what counts? And again, we just go back into the same thing. We need flat jaw tongs and all that, so... I'm not going to I'm not going to go down that path. We'll go down uh the mutagen mutagenic catalyst. That's going to allow us to continue our mutation. So let's have a look at making two of these. That's going to take us 1 day and 11 hours. Yes, yes it is. We're going to start right now though. We're going to use our chemistry set and go. We may have to start the vehicle at some point. Minimal pain, it's fine. It's just uh, it's our mutations acting up. And you were hurt. We'll stop crafting, yes, because we're, we're very hungry. But that's fine. There's lots of food on us. Pine nuts meat confit is very caloric. A couple of those, and let's have... An ale and see if we can get a water in as well mineral water here we are ah uh, we're engorged that's too bad can we get a an antacid that might be a good idea no I'm, I'm thinking um an aspirin there we go just to help with that pain and we have, yes, the in-progress catalyst. Let's continue. So we'll just continue taking this in, you know, in stints. The fact that we're already up to almost 30% is pretty great. We're getting warm, thirsty, very hungry. And we'll pause there at 39%. We'll feed him again. It's 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 a problem. This uh, this is one of the reasons this character is getting a little old for me. Is how often we have to feed him. It's just constant. Um, so we won't be we won't be taking that mutation. And we'll we'll probably just use the point system that that comes in Cataclysm to make our next character. So it's a little more balanced, I'd say. All right, carry on. I don't believe our focus matters for this. I think it's really just a matter of the time we put in. 
Yes, yeah, something hurts. It's probably the fact that you're a freak. That's what hurts. We're very hungry again. Third time in a day. We're close to starving, even though we're to eating 700, you know, 1,000, 1,500 calories each time. Pork and beans. Pickled veg. I have a hard seltzer. Sure. We're still very thirsty. Okay, that's fine. We'll we'll do a short stint. And it's no longer yeah, we can't see anymore. We are a bit tired, but not a lot tired. Mineral water, mineral water. And let's turn on Oh yeah, we don't have the aisle light anymore. Man, I've been beat up in this vehicle. Carry on. 75, we'll call it. There we go. We'll have another bite to eat. Oranges, crackers, dehydrated meat, dehydrated fish. And we need to move back for the... For the water. Turn off the dome light and have a sleep. Five hours. I don't care if we're deaf. It's fine. Nothing's going to break in. Your torso hurts. We woke up before the alarm. We're still a bit tired. Okay, let's try again. Oh, yeah, we, uh, we didn't sleep very long at all. It was still before midnight. Very hungry. Hydrated. That's good. So we'll just load up on food. There we are. You feel great. Doesn't seem like wounds could even slow you down for more than a day. That's pretty true with our mutation. What's got a lot of calories? The crackers, ravioli, chicken and dumplings. Um, let's put that into glass jar. Broccoli, you know, for vitamins. And how about some lemonade? There we go. This is, this is what it's like, just getting through some of these crafting things. Uh, this is why I like to turn up the construction um, speed, so that it doesn't take as long to make things. But really, when it comes to this, it, it, it takes what it takes, as I understand. This isn't construction. That, I think, is more like when you're making your camp, you're making those constructions. Uh, we're going to pour that into a container, into glass jar. And then we're going to take it. Mutagenic catalyst. One and two. We'll take them both. And uh, within the next day or so, hopefully we'll see some more stuff happening. I am tempted to maybe go up to this gas station. Let's take a wee drive, shall we? It's been a while since we mowed down some some zombies. Was that a tow truck? Oh, it is. I missed that first time around. Oh, hello. Hello, Zambi. Hello. Hello, all of you. Oh, my. More vehicles. I'm going to speed up a little bit and mow some of these down. There's the gas station. What do we have on the ground there? Sparrows and stuff? Birds. Birds of all types. I don't want to run them over. Um. Okay. Oh, look at all the unfriendlies coming out. Let's go this way again. Lower right down. Oh, that's that hole. 
You can hear the heartbeat. He's a little nervous with this many zombies around. Oh, look at them all. What are you fighting? Oh, a giant praying mantis. Is that what it is? It is, well, it's a praying mantis, but it's a green mutant insect with sharp grappling spikes on its front legs. It's a little smaller than an adult person. So yeah, it's a giant praying mantis. We'll just go backwards that way. And then uh, try and get out of here again. There we go. We're making a dent anyways. No pun intended, but also pun intended. Yeah. That's it. We're gonna try and... Oops, we took down a tree. We took down half the group. Very nice. Birdie, watch out! Oh, it's a hummingbird. I feel horrible. I love the little birds. Run these guys over. Just screaming through town here. Oh, and then there's like a cartment. Uh, a cartment? Apartment complex. It's a new word. It's a short form for apartment complex. It's a cartment. All right, interesting, interesting. Oh yeah, and all the spiders around here. We've been here. Well, off to the right there. Acidic zombie. Firefighter zombie. Yes. Die again, zombies. I think we ran over a hunter there. Oh, yes, this group again. Goodbye. Oh, that turned us off pretty, uh, pretty sharply there. Maybe we're going a little fast. We're losing control and stuff. A little faster than that, though. We're not really doing damage. Well, we have done pretty well. Whoa, what is that? It's a spitter zombie. A hunched human body with its eyes pushed up into its forehead and drooping cheeks. Most of its face is occupied by a puckered mouth. Its stomach is swollen and nearly translucent with a sickly yellow tint. Cool. Also, what's next door to that place? It's a gun store. There's a fire station up there. Police department, police department. Wow. I feel like we have a couple new targets. Okay, that thing went down pretty easy. Wow, so many dead. Look at this, what is this, a parking lot? Parking garage. Whoa. I, I still have not been able to find the solar vehicle that we wanted. Nor did I put those... Whoa, look at that horde of zombies down there in that restaurant. It's a family dinner. Look at that. Uh, anyways, yeah, I didn't put the solar panels on. I feel like it's probably fine because we're... Likely doing a bit of damage. Look at them all. Wow. Grappler over there in the park. And around and around we go. 
Hopefully nothing gets inside. Maybe we'll just go down to the end here and then whip it around. And speed it on up again. Uh, <laughs> there's something going on with the condoms not being able to fit into pockets or something. Oh, look at that over there. Who is that? There's a grocery bot. Popular product from Uncanny. This friendly android can carry your bag or push your grocery cart for you. You know it's friendly because its human-esque face is constantly smiling at you. According to the ads, it uses a state... It uses a state machine of a... Something, something... Let me finish that. State machine of a complexity... I think it means to say state-of-the-art machine of a complexity never seen before. Uncanny even hired professional actors to record its lines. Examine to befriend. I think it's I think it's got enough friends at the moment. Whoa. It got real dark. It got real dark. Um why? We're inside the vehicle. Okay, there we go. Kill them! Kill them, friendly robot! Oh, gosh. Speed up! Oh, we took out a corner of that building in the process. Do it again! Oh, that was satisfying. Wait, can we take off, uh... Oh, 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 I'm sorry, Mr. Android friend. I really meant to help you, but... Uh, let's just call it a mercy killing? I don't know. This is so many zombies. Can you imagine us, like, having to shoot this many? Or hand-to-hand -hand this many? It would not be great. Oh, there's a terrified person there. Whoops, we ran into that car. Having the extra wide ram was actually kind of nice for this work. Oh, oh, we have done some damage to the front of our vehicle. The ram does not seem to be holding up. I think we're going to uh, go ahead and count our blessings and get out of here. Oh. Uh, not that way. Oh, not that way either. Oh well. Oh. I thought we managed to miss that pole, but we took it out in the end. Okay, back to this road. Yeah, we lost parts of our vehicle. I did not expect that. The rams are not so much doing the job that I'd hoped they would. Now nah, we'll we'll carry on. I mean, it's probably the corner of that building we took out that had something to do with it. We could just go south through the field past the fire station. Oh no, not fire station. Police departments. Plural. There they are right there. Panicked person. Oh uh, yeah. Speed up.
Okay. I, I shouldn't have really... I should have just turned south and, and gotten out. I'm just so very happy when I'm running down zombies. Yes! No, oh, they kind of bounced. We lost the other side, uh, side ram too. Oh no, that's a bad hit. Okay. And we're back into the clear zone. We're gonna carry on a little farther. Amoebic mold. Well, yeah, they're tougher than they look. Okay, now we're really, really outside the town, which is good. Stop driving. Let's have a look at this vehicle. There's not much left there. Uh, the frame is, is screwed. The engine's fine. The alternator's okay. But I, I have a feeling I may have may have done a disservice to our poor vehicle here. Can we do frame? Heavy duty frame? Or oh, we're gonna need to eat. Uh, horizontal, sure. Yep. Let's eat some food. How about this entree? And that chicken burrito bowl curry we'll pour into a jar some oranges whoops no we don't want to eat a rotten orange and how about a beer let's go back in here install heavy duty frame ignore heavy duty frame I'm going to do vertical, I think, for that one. Yeah, make it look kind of the same. And then on that, we install... What? The armor? Military composite ram? No. Okay, we need to refill a torch. We do have a, an acetylene maker. I had to A, C, E. Acetylene. Five acetylene takes two hours. Let's try it. Put it into a container. Really? Or in a container. Huh. How do we get it into the big... Maybe I should have crafted it over here. I don't know. Do we have that stuff on us now? No. A, C, E. Acetylene torch. Yeah, the acetylene gas machine. But I was looking for something like this that we could refill. Do we need to use a compressor? I, I don't really know. Can't pick up that one. Can we... Where is that? East? Grab East. A-C-E. Wield. Refill with welding tank with acetylene right there. Okay. Install. Military composite armor plating. How about that one? Install. Military composite armor plating. Ah, you mutate! You gain a mutation called dexterous. You feel a deep, churning sensation fill your body. And then we gain uh, dexterous. 
That's amazing. That's really great. Wow, Bruno is just going to end the game as, I don't know, some kind of amazing beast man. Uh, we'll ignore that. Put that there. So here we have heavy duty corner panels. That's why the end steel plating. Let's remove that. Let's install. Can we do more military armor plating? Yes. Good condition one. And I want to repair. We don't have any steel frames, really. Okay, repair the alternator. We're hungry and thirsty. We better stop. Propane torch nearby. Sure. Yeah, the, the frame's destroyed underneath it. Pickled veg have pretty much no calories, and I, I find that very strange. But it's fine. We'll just eat what we have. Tomato sauce. 48. Just spoonfuls of, of canned tomatoes and tomato sauce. I think we'll save them for making stuff. No, we're still thirsty, so I think we'll try and get into middle wa mineral water. There we go. We're full. Not thirsty. What else can we put here? Do we need a... Oh, yeah. Quarter, quarter panel? Heavy duty quarter panel. And we got there just before... Uh, we're Zonal. No. Front front right is there a front right front horizontal front i want like oh yeah front right corner there we go and it looks right out there so that's good huh so we're gonna need more heavy duty parts hmm we don't have any headlights right now Maybe we go ahead and... wait. What? Turn on dome lights? Did our uh, electronics controls get beat up there? Yeah, controls... Yeah, we have the controls. We don't have the electronics control unit. Yeah. It got... it got busted. That's too bad. Electronics control units. Vehicle controls. Elect electronics control unit. We need a firearm repair kit. Gunsmith repair kit. Integrated welder or soldering iron. We have soldering irons. We probably just can't see it right now. SOL. Maybe try and make it here. Oh, again, soldering iron. Well, what's... It's very, very slow. We have too many items around us. Let's see if we can search it out here. Soldering iron. There, we'll take that. And we need to reload. No, not read. Reload soldering iron with uh, light disposable battery. That's fine. Control. Electronics control unit will take us an hour and 36 minutes. Install. Electronics control unit. There we go. We fixed that. We fixed some of the front. Hmm. What now? All right. As we... It's, it's interesting. So I was just sleeping the night. I was just skipping that. But in the night, your body tries to mutate, but it lacks a primer to do so and only contorts for a moment feel a deep churning sensation you, but yeah it, it happened a couple times during the night i am really surprised so 
you need to you need to have more primers i guess it i thought it was would just like kind of choose a type but that's not the case so let's take another primer how about elf a and we'll see what happens there and i've kind of decided i think we should go up to this mansion that i never went up to we should clear that and consider that uh to be a place where maybe we'll take some refuge uh maybe we should pick up our friend who's down there to the right whoops no let's just go here Tadpoles, tadpoles, tadpoles. So, clear the mansion. Live happily ever after. That's kind of how I'm feeling about it. Let me get this guy on board. Alright, so we're fed. And uh, also we got Benton Blackmon on. So, let's go. Where do we gotta go? Down this road? No, back up the road. Yoink. Just due north. Catch that road, follow it to the end. Ooh, spiders. And spider eggs. 44 web spinning spiders, my gosh. Oh, hello. Hello, everybody. Let's see how many we can lure out here. Crunch. Whoa. Back it up. Back it up. What is that? Armored feral. Clad in ancient armor with a mace in hand, this maniac walks around in search of their next prey. You can see stains of dried blood all over their mace. Well, I know exactly what to do with you. Aim for the center of the vehicle. Come on, all of you. Well-dressed feral. Huh. Faster. Oh, yeah. That's where it is. That's the sweet spot. We hit them at 57 kilometers an hour. There's a lot of ferals around here. Oh, my gosh. There's a lot of everything around here. We just need to crush. At some point, I think we get out of the vehicle here. Maybe we'll take Benton off a little bit here. Talk. I want you... Something I want you to do. Can you teach me... Hold on, uh, guard this position. Yeah. How are we doing on ammo? Reloads. 855. I think we dropped all our extra mags, so... I believe they're here. I never did get those, uh, those weapons set up. That's what I forgot to do. Okay, take all those. Reload with 855. Reload with... Oh, do a 223. Acetylene torch. Nope, we're not going to wield the acetylene torch anymore. 
Whoops. If I would hit the right hotkey, there we go. Blam. Who's next? 50 tiles, too far. I want to know what that weapon is on the ground. Ah, hello. Just see us going from target to target, aiming, firing carefully into center mass as much as possible. And the zombie's just taking the hit square on the chest. I have a little reload. Reload that. After all, what did we collect all this ammo for if not to use it? Zombie child. What was that? A rapier. That's cool. Uh, not enough damage for my taste, but it's a cool weapon. Sorry, child. Just a flood of zombies coming out of the window. But just staying calm, getting the shots off as the targets present themselves. and taking them all down. Swimmer. Now, where is that armored one? It's a tough zombie. Caffeinated chewing gum, smartphone. That's the, that's a zombie. Zombie. Maybe the armored one is farther to the right there. Ah, there's the mace. Plus one, bash damage of 12. It is made out of aluminum. Cheaply made replica. So, not what we want at all. Feral Servant. Oh, here's one. Hello. Are they coming our way? Oh, who's this? A Border Collie? Oh, it's being chased by a Zambi. I would prefer not to shoot the Border Collie. Nope, must reload. Okay. Nope, thought it was dead, but it's not. Border Collie is not angry at us. That is good, because we don't want to hurt the dog. We want to save the dog. You go do your thing. Makes me wonder, do we have any dog food in the vehicle? So many shots. Where's the poor doggy now? It's down there. I'm gonna smash these. He scared me. I'm not gonna lie, he scared me. I was like... What? What's in our vehicle? Oh, oh my god. It's, it's Benton, the guy I just picked up. Dog. Wet dog food. 
Okay. Web spinning spider. New, not you. Where's the dog? No, we lost it. I thought that would have been a nice fitting kind of close to it. We find this dog that fought off some zombies. We feed it. It adopts us. Yeah. All right. Out with the bat. We're going in. Upstairs. No use being subtle. Okay, downstairs. Headlamp. Did we empty this whole place out just with the vehicle and that little bit? It is possible. Nope, not entirely. Hello. Yes, come stand on the broken glass. Oh, get on with it. Thanks. What is that? Barbed wire? Anybody? Oh yeah, hello. Bandages. Antiseptic. Back in we go. Quite an extensive set of libraries. Huge rooms. A room big enough to do everything we ever wanted to do. Nice kitchen. Oh, stones. Gross. Stout. Orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this place is... Uh, this has got some stocks. Some stonks. Canned something. Bagged things. Whoops. What about up here? More stairs, huh? Well, hello. I say, I've come to take possession of this place. You can leave peacefully or otherwise. We're just going to pry that right open. Oh, yeah. All the food. Yes, this is looking noodles and food and maple syrup. We don't really into, but pasta. Zombie. No more zombie. Utility closet. Is that really all that's to this little piece of the downstairs? I guess it is. I guess we gotta clear some more. Oh, it's got a sweet pool. Nice outdoor entertaining area. What's there? A glass bottle? Some empty antique bottle, I imagine. What do we have here? A toilet. Zombies made a bit of a mess of the place. Contact lenses. When we get old. What do we have here? A gold medal? Cool. Just imagine... Oh, more food. Imagine pictures on the wall of this person with their gold medal. Perhaps uh, an athlete of some kind. Maybe, given that there was a rapier, maybe a fencing. Fencing Olympian. Who then went into, I don't know, being rich with rich friends. I, I don't, I don't know how that works. A candlestick. Yeah. What 
Well, I'm not really seeing, uh, I think the other, the other piece of the basement is going to be more interesting than up here. I think it's just empty bedrooms for the most part. Everybody jumped out the windows as soon as we arrived. What is there? A scabbard and a bakken. A solid wood training katana. Okay. Looks to be mass produced and not quite as effective as the real deal. Oh, Yoroi? An ornamental suit of Japanese samurai armor. Ornamental. So it's made out of cast iron and leather. 85% coverage isn't, isn't the best. Um, our armor. We were... Let's face it, pretty fortunate to find the armor we found. Compound crossbow, the riot armor. Fencing foil. We'll pick that. Lock stumps your efforts. Come on, devices. <laughs> okay, finally. Fencing foil. A weapon used for fencing, the most noble of all sports. Unfortunately, a fencing foil is rather useless as a weapon due to its flexible shaft and dull tip. Yeah. But maybe that's the, um, the foil that they won their gold medal with. Devices is level four. We still can't pick a lock, though. Book of Classical Literature. Mm, first edition. Compound crossbow, we don't need to take with us. Big washroom, yeah. Another bedroom. Nice wings to the place, you know, you could you could be up here in a wing all to yourself. Feel nice and safe. Barbute helm. Steel and leather. It is pretty good good oh my gosh it's a pike please say it's a real thing it's made out of budget steel a medieval weapon consisting of a very long wooden shaft tipped with an iron spearhead the head seems to be pretty dull and the whole thing feels poorly made unfortunate but it's still really good damage and we we can use this with our martial art uh, yeah and if we compare that helm with our army helm army helmet army helmet what's where where is it what's it called we got a face shield nate protector oh tactical helmet right coverage of i don't understand what i'm looking at coverage of the head is only 64 percent but the tactical helmet is 42 of the head 65% the eyes, the mouth. Well, the tactical helmet's better. Bash cut, ballistic pierce is all better. And uh, likewise for the ears. And of course we have the nape protector and all that. So, I mean, super cool, but not going to do us. We finally got the pike, though. I've wanted one of these for a while. I think that's just downstairs that we're looking at. Yep. Okay, downstairs. And... Downstairs again. Oh, <laughs> Pike makes smash! Oh. Okay, we're also out of power for our night vision, so that's not going to do us any good whatsoever. What is going on here? There we go. Bandages. Claw bar. Small prying tool. Uh, what is it? Was it two prying quality? Our crowbar has three prying quality, so claw bar is not worthwhile. Collapsible mop, just what I always wanted. 
Ah, uh, hello, zombie. We're going to get to use the pike. Oh. Against an armored feral. And we do have the range attack, so I can use tab when they're, uh, when they're a space away like that. You have another armored gauntlets, leather armor, another mace. It's made of aluminum. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Whoops. I don't know if it's better than the bat. Maybe if we had a full on good, you know, high carbon steel. Oh, look at that. A laundry cart. That could be so useful when you're looting towns and stuff. Yeah, leather pants. I don't know. I think that's uh, that's about it for this place. Oh, hi. It's a slavering biter. Distorted in the swollen human body, its jaws have elongated into a crocodile-like snout, dripping with foul-smelling saliva. Oh, we hit it for 28 damage. We're gonna run. Oh, it... it moves fast. Tab. Tab. Ooh, 58 damage critical. We did 42 before that. Yeah, even a budget. Pike is still a pretty good weapon. A sheet. Maybe they did clothing import. That's why we're seeing just boxes with, well, not much left, but once upon a time clothing in them. Yeah. <laughs> Self-defense for your child and break a leg. Oh, yes. Well, did we go yes or no? No, we went no. Another armored feral. With a mace in hand. Uh, 12 damage. Hit an unarmored part of the leg. Not a problem. Our military rucksack USB drive is ripped. Oh, that's unfortunate. Corinthian helm. Not as good. Belcurus. Isn't that... Uh... Anyways. A multimeter. Yeah. Let's just make sure this place is clear, and we'll call it ours. What have we in here? Nice, a work it area. <laughs> it's like, what is in there? Of course, it's toilet paper. That's sensible. Well, that might... Just about do it for down here. Oh, acidic zombie. Oh dear. Um, I think we'll go for it. Oh, we can hit it from that far away. We did 76 damage, critical, and it is dead. We'll move it onto our tile. Butcher, dismember. Oh, hello. So powerful. I wasn't even using it right this time. We can hit from two things away. Lots of food. Oh, who's there? Yep. We've come into our own, definitely, with this pike. I feel like we could take on... A large group, even. All at once. Just keeping your distance. So what is that? A trench knife? It's not very good, actually. I've checked them before. There we have it. 
Oh. Wine room. That's pretty nice. Bruno will enjoy that for sure. If I can remember where the stairs are, we'll go back up. Here we are. Climb out the front. Hello, Zambi. There we go. And there we are. Our own mansion. We've cleaned the zombies out. We've had a good time, I feel, with Bruno. I have, anyways. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I'm not going to delete him or anything. We'll leave him around, but we're going to start a new run uh, after this goes out. And we'll see what we can get up to. We'll see if I just die right away, having been spoilt with Bruno's prowess. But that's it for now. We've gone just about an hour. Uh, yeah, I appreciate all the support for the channel. Uh, do hit the like and subscribe if you liked and want to see more. That's why you do those things, right? All right, that's it for now. Cheers. See you again soon.